Okay, we're going to do the uh, plastic tooth here, and the first thing that we want to do is measure the tooth. And just measuring the tooth, putting it on the endodontic ruler, uh, you're going to see that it's just about 25 millimeters. We're going to have to uh, cut this. Uh, it's just about, you're going to have to measure the tooth, and it's just about 25 millimeters. So, what we're going to need to do is uh, cut this down when we get going. Okay. So, it's just about 25 millimeters. Alright. Now, the next step is that we've discussed is making an axis cavity. And so, for the axis cavity, we're going to use, we're going to start with a number two romber on the high speed. Remember, in the lab and everywhere else, it's just good to do things uh, the way you're going to do them in clinic. So, I'm going to take the romber and I'm going to start. And add an angle uh, like that and and just kind of do it here I can fall my feel myself falling into the pulse chamber I'm going to lift up flare out develop a triangular shape. The triangular shape is just taking on the shape of the pulp chamber itself. Clinically it might vary a bit. We'll put in a diamond burr. And again, using the orifice of the canal as kind of a pivot, we're going to gently flare out. So you have nice uh, axis cavity. You can see where the orifice of the canal is uh, using the endo explorer let's probe down and you have a pretty straight line access at least to the uh, to the orifice of the canal next thing we want to do is irrigate with sodium hypochlorite or in the lab tooth we just want to use water and just irrigate slightly here in the axis cavity. You can catch it on a 2x2 two two or whatever is most appropriate. And now our estimated working length is going to be 25. This tooth is a little long so for our purposes in the preclinical course at any rate is I'm going to take off a few millimeters of the incisal of edge. You would not do this clinically. So our estimated working length is going to be around 24 millimeters or so because I just, you know, we, we measured beforehand it was 25, so now it's a little bit less than that. I'm going to take an, ex, an, an exploratory file, use a patent forceps and just put a little explorer curve on there. Uh, these canals are fairly straight, but in natural teeth they may not be as straight. I'm going to slip and slide, slip and slide until the patency file comes out the apex. Okay, this is still a little, the stopper is keeping this from going through the apex. I'm going to take the stopper off. So now the file is 25 millimeters in length. slip and slide, slip and slide, and it's just barely coming out of the end of the tooth. And I don't know how well you can see that in the film. So at 25 millimeters, it's, it's a good patency file, so our working length is actually 24 millimeters, which is the length of a file with a stopper on it. The stopper is one millimeter in length. So the first instruments instrumentation that we want to do we start out with a 10, again with a little curve on it because the files are not straight. We slip and slide our file down to the working length, okay? And we file, 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 